Hey, this is Brett and this 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Launch Edition is stock number 23J20A. I'm here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. This 2020 Jeep Gladiator has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. This Jeep has been fully safetyed and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and it is 100% ready to go. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, show, it, um, show you under the hood and start it up to give you the most accurate representation of the vehicle possible. Firecracker Red is the color and I shoot all my videos in 4K. So if you have HD capabilities, turn them on now because it is your best way to check out the quality, condition, options, and cleanliness of the Jeep before seeing it in person. And if you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Summit Auto. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Jeep walkarounds on YouTube. This one comes with the painted alloy wheels. You get the red Jeep on there as well. And it comes with Falcon Wild Peak AT3 W tires. These are LT26570 R17s for a size. And they look like they have about 60 to 70% of the tread left on the front here. Comes with the Fox shocks and the frame and underbodies in really nice condition. You get that with the Rubicon package. This one also has the painted fenders and the painted hard top, which is a nice feature. It also has the LED headlamps, running lights, and fog lights. Now I'm gonna turn all those on at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that, so you can see just how nice and bright they all are. It also gives you the steel bumpers in the front. This one comes with a worn 9.5 XP winch, and uh, the front bumper's in great shape. You get the painted red tow hooks as well. You can remove these side pieces for better travel on the wheels. And the grill is in excellent condition. And I'm telling you, if you ever get a Jeep, a Wrangler, or a Gladiator, get the LED light group. It's, it's definitely the best. The hood is in fantastic condition. You get that sports style hood on this one. Passenger side front fender's in great shape. Passenger side front wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes on there. And as you go down this side of this 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, take note of how clean that body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the truck, you can see the truck, hear the truck, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart, and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. And if this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful, and that Brett sent you. Back wheel is in nice shape. Back tires have just as much tread as the front tires. You get the Fox shocks back here as well. And the frame and underbody is in really nice condition. I believe this is a one owner, clean title history out of Wisconsin and uh, launch edition. You get the rock rails as well with the Rubicon package. So launch edition, they only made 4,190 of these launch editions. They're one of the first, uh, I guess, gladiators to come out, and that's why they were called the launch edition. You get the backup parking sensor, sensors, the red tow hook, towing package with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. Now, the thing back here is you get this launch edition badge on the back and it says one of 4,190. And uh, that's one of the cool things that you get with that launch edition. The tailgate is in fantastic condition. LED tail lamps and it comes with the tri-fold factory soft tonneau cover. I didn't see any rips or tears on that. Has a shock down assist, spray and bed liner. You do get LED bed lights. Also 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in back here. And that bed liner is in really nice shape. This is a case for your front hard top pieces. And uh, the bed's in really nice, really nice condition. That spray and bed liner goes on to the tailgate as well. Shuts nice and solidly. And of course it locks. Going down the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side, no dents or dings on the box. Fender is in nice shape. And for full disclosure, this back wheel is in nice condition as well. Down the rest of this side, the uh, cab 
top and doors are all in really nice condition. I didn't see any major dents. I didn't see any major dings. The door hinges are all in really nice condition. I didn't see any corrosion on them. Uh, that's something you got to look for on these Gladiators and Wranglers. All look pretty good on this one. Has the blind spot monitor and heated mirrors. Um, enter and go system. Inside the Rubicon package gives you the black leather interior. You get the bucket seats with the Rubicon stitched into the backrest. Smells very clean inside this truck. I don't think it's ever been smoked in. And you get side airbags on here as well. Driver's seat height adjuster, some nice WeatherTech floor mats, auto headlamps, power locks and doors. Take a quick look at the back seats. They are just as clean as the front seats, no rips or tears back here. You do get the manual sliding rear window. And I wanted to show you something on this hard top. It's actually has the insulated hard top. So that's pretty sweet. Um, the other thing is these headrests go down. There's a lockable storage area back here. And you can take this hard top off. There's a bunch of bolts back here. We actually did a video on how to take your hard top off your Gladiator. If you want to check that out, that's linked in the description below as well as in the upper right hand part of the screen, you get a spot for all your door hinges and door bolt, I'm sorry, door hinge bolts and roof bolts right there. You get a lockable storage bin under here. There's your winch controller for that worn winch in the front and your tool kit is back here as well. You get two USBs, two USB-Cs and a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in back here as well. Factory floor mats back here. Those seats fold down like that. And you do get child safety locks on the back doors. Inside of the doors all look really good. And this hard top is all in really nice condition as well. I didn't see any major scrapes or missing paint or anything from it coming off. So really nice. We'll hop inside, check out the miles radio, and then we'll turn it on, take a look under the hood and check out all those LED lights. You can see that this one has 37,341 miles on it. You do get the digital speedometer, seven inch LCD display. It does have a compass display and uh, you can change those corners to read pretty much whatever you want. Instrument cluster is nice and clean. Comes with the heated leather wrap steering wheel. Cruise controls and adaptive cruise controls on the right. Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. Audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one has the 8.4 4C radio. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Also has the factory navigation system on it. There is Highway 41, so that is working nicely. You have your climate controls, including your heated seats and heated steering wheel controls. You can check out your backup cam, which they've made these nice and HD and crystal clear. And you can check out your front cam, which is pretty cool. And then those are dynamic grid lines, so you can see kind of where your tires are going to be if you were doing a lot of off-roading and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And you can clean the camera. So that is pretty neat. Um, and then the backup camera, you can zoom in on your hitch to get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time, every time. You also have all your different apps on here, including off-road pages, projection manager, where you can project your cell phone to a screen. We did a demo with Android Auto on one of those. Um, you can check that out, AM, FM, and Sirius. And uh, those are all your apps right there. And you can check out the off-road pages. So while they're loading, I'll show you down here, you get the more tactile volume tune and climate controls, including your dual climate controls. You may be lost, but never stuck in a gladiator. And then you have your steering angle, sway bar if it's connected, front axle if it's locked or unlocked, rear axle if it's locked or unlocked, transfer case, what you're in. And you can see as I turn that steering wheel, the angle changes on there. If you look really close at the front wheels, they actually change too, so that's pretty cool. Um, you have your accessory gauges, your pitch and roll, you have your trail cam, which just takes you to the front cam again. Um, but you have latitude, longitude, and altitude on there as well. So a lot of really cool things you can do with that radio. Uh, down here is your start-stop capability, stability control, hazard lights, parking sensors, and your speed select crawl control. So you can do all that there. You get a USB, USB-C, and an AUX jack down here. This is really what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. You get your front and rear locking differentials or just the rear. You also have your off-road plus mode and your sway bar disconnect. Four auxiliary upfit switches and your eight-speed automatic transmission, four by four shifter. 
to get your keyless entry with the remote start and the flipper key, which I always liked. So this particular Gladiator with the launch edition gives you the leather dash, which is pretty cool, and the red stitching. Passenger side format and seat are in fantastic condition. No rips or tears on there. Smells very clean inside this truck. I don't think it's ever been smoked in. You get the insulated hard top pieces in the front as well, and assist and SOS buttons, as well as home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. We'll start it up and take a look under the hood. And we'll get a battery in that key fob as well. But uh, no check engine lights or anything like that. Let me make sure I got all my fog lights on here. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the quality, condition, options, and of course, cleanliness of this Gladiator all the way around, inside and out. There are all those LED lights. They are extremely bright, look really good. And under the hood, we have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. Once again, this Gladiator has been fully safety inspected, has a fresh oil and filter change, all the fluids ready to go. There's the emission sticker. And really, really a nice ride. Plus it's one of 41, 4,190 that were made. And uh, I would highly recommend it from a quality and condition standpoint. And to see more pictures of this Gladiator or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we gotta go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summit auto, click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds and Gladiator and Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Gladiator videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to help you with this ultra clean 2020. Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Launch Edition in Firecracker Red Clear Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.